I know you can have it all. Really, you can. You can have anything that you want. You can have it all. And I know this because I've done it. And I can talk about these things because people will think, they'll look at their lives and they go, that doesn't seem possible. Well, I'm telling you that it is. And I know this might go on a little long. I'm going I'm to give you all the information. That, and uh, many people probably won't listen because we live in this age now where it's only a minute. We have about a minute um, concentration that we can put into something, which is why reels and, and, and shorts have become so popular now because that's, we can only look at that, that little bit of time. But I'm going to talk a little bit more because it's really important to know that you can have it all. And I want you to understand it now because... You probably have been a little lost over these last several years. You might have been a little afraid. You might not have known where things were going in your life. And I can tell you a lot of the things that are happening for you. I'm not even seeing you, but I can tell you what's going on. You're a little afraid of what's going to happen with the world. You're wondering how this all happened. You're wondering why your life seems so chaotic over the last several years. Or you're thinking, I've been working on something for so long, but it just hasn't happened yet. Or I can't get over this particular difficulty. I'm experiencing so much more anger and fear right now. I don't understand why. I'm feeling a little lost and I don't know where things are going. All of those things are in your consciousness and it's in the consciousness of our planet as well, of our world. And for several years, I've been talking about a restructuring that the world would be moving through, which is why I began doing the work that I am doing now from several years ago. Um, I had to shift because we all have to change. And if we don't change, we never get what we want to have. And that change is always about owning who we are. It's nothing more than that. Because see, you were born with something that was meant to be developed, brought to the world, that would cause you to be happy, cause you to uh, really create abundance and love yourself and all of that. And what's what I call your soul journey, because we all have it. There's no human ever born that does not have that within them. But what can happen is we, um, depending on where we grew up, what we were taught, what we came to believe, we can't see that. Which is why when I say certain things to folks about what is possible, they think that's not even, you can't do that. You know, that whole thing about, um, no, you can't have it all. And especially women were told that when for a long time, you can't have it all. That's just total crap. And I can say that because I know it's not true because I've, I've proven it in my life. Everything that I was given that was an impossibility, I've gotten over it. Now, it did take me 72 years, because that's how old I am now. <laughs> I'll be 73 in November. I keep saying that because I want people to understand it never matters when you decide that you're going to own who you are and give your gift to the world. But see, that's the other thing I say, which people don't understand. Everyone has one. But we will interpret that um, in different ways. We'll think, oh, wait a minute, I screwed up all these things. That's not really valuable. I failed so many times. I've done all of these things, so I understand what you are thinking, but I still am telling you, you can have it all because all you got to do is change your mind and your interpretation about all those things, which is what I had to do. I went through all the illnesses. I went through all the, I went through depression. So I, I've said this forever, how I, I talked about how I cured my depression. I talked about how I cured my cluster headaches, which is that's impossible. I talked about how I created a, a million dollar business from something I never knew I could do. Anybody can do that because it's your mindset again. And I've proven these things over and over again, but then coming to accept it, which is what most of us have trouble with, that was a real challenge. Coming to accept what we have, what is within us, what we're bringing into the world is a real challenge. But now I knew I couldn't no longer do that because I knew the world was changing and more people would want to understand this information. Three years ago, I started talking about um, the restructuring of our world and people are going, what is this guy talking about? What's happening? And now we're looking at the world and we're seeing the weather events happening. We're seeing disruption. We're seeing a war in the United States. We have chaos going on. And I said the United States would lead the way in this restructuring. And people go, what does that mean? Well, it's happening right now. This means we're going to uncover everything that we didn't love about who we were and what we were doing that wasn't really serving the greater good for all and we're going to change those things but the only way we do that is in each person we have to become willing to let go of our darker energies let's call it and rise up to who we are and then what happens is this magical thing happens then you start having everything you want and i know this and i can say it again 
because I've proven it. This was my life. I went through every imaginable tragedy. So we could talk about the difficulties that you've experienced and how horrible that was. And I could probably give you one of mine was, that was worse. So that doesn't matter. But I still changed it because it's all in mindset. You see, it was challenging and it was difficult. And some of them, I did not want to be here anymore. That's how horrible it was because those are some of the emails that I'm receiving now, people are like, I don't want to live. This is too difficult. This is too challenging. Or the other one is I've been working on something for so long and it just hasn't happened yet. And I'm just ready to give up. Or I've been in these horrible relationships and I keep repeating them and I want to have the right one. And this is why is this happening to me? And then the other one is I've never found my right career and I can't make the kind of money that I want and I'm struggling with the one that I have now and I don't like it and I want to get out of it. I could give you so many and all of them I have lived. And I know that you can change that if you decide to change your old programming. That's all it is. See, when we are born, we come into the world at a particular time and then into a family, into a place, a country, whatever it is. And we start receiving information that tells us who we are. And most of it's going to be limited and restricted. And if we don't change that, we don't find that place within us of what we're meant to bring to the world. And it's encoded in your DNA. I love the time when we're discovering so many things that people are talking about epigenetics now. Because we discover new things all the time that show us how our personalities develop over time and how they're relating to what's the conditions or what might be going on in our world. All of those cause your brain to operate in a particular way and that will tell you whether or not you are willing to have it all. And sometimes it's so challenging to work through that and I had to do it because it was a really long journey for me to work through all of those things, but I did it. I had help, you see. See, we can go to school and we go to colleges and we go to counselors, we take programs or therapists, we do all of those things, all of them I did. But the other thing I did was I received cosmic information, which was what I call universal information and it works for everyone. People question, why is my work, why is my program working so brilliantly for people? Why are they changing things that they couldn't do for one person said, 35 years I've been working on this and this and in this program, I did that. I've moved through it, I handled it. And others, I, I have more confidence, I have all of that. That's how evolution works. When anyone moves through something, discovers something that could help the consciousness of humanity, we have to give it back. And that's what I'm doing, especially at this time in our world. See, because there's a split that's happening and we're going to have to know who we are. This is why I put out everything that I have in the last several days, why I've done my channeling sessions for the last two years, because I've had all of this information. But we're moving into an accelerated um, place now, and so people might be a little more frightened about what would happen. But when we understand everything is energy, then we can change that. We can change the conditions that are going on in the world if we decide to be happy, if we decide to love who we are, if we decide to move through our restrictions, our hatred, our judgments about ourselves, and then about others. Then the world changes, but we don't get there unless we're willing to do the work. And uh, the other day I was posting something. I said, I can't um, hire people to sell my program or convince people to come in. And I don't want that at all. So I'm just saying that again, because there's a very specific reason. Um, when I first put the program out in December of 2020, I'm 21. I'm going to give you the entire story. I put it out at a really low price because I was just going to test it. And people came in and they, they got the most value ever. And I was told by so many people, this program should be at least $5,000. I said, I'm not going to do that yet. See, because I've always had this, my problem, this idea that I could help so many people. I could just change the world, the planet, if more people did this work and lived the lives that they were going to have. But the realistic part of me, the reality said, most people aren't going to do that. So what I'm doing now, you, I, I, you can come into my program, but you just got to understand a few things. And I need people to schedule a call with me. Um, if you can come into the program now or, or when you do, you have to schedule a call with me because you have to understand what this work is. See, I'm saying this because in the beginning, when I didn't know what it was and what it would do for people, I had people come into the program who would go so far and then say, OK, wait a minute, this is too terrible. This is too challenging. I'm going to stop. And that's the thing that we do in our lives, you see. Oh, this place that I've reached is really challenging and difficult. And I don't want to look inside and discover what that is so I can get over it. So I'm just going to choose to stay angry. I'm going to choose to keep failing. I'm going to choose to be 
pissed off at the world because I can't have what I want. Again, I can say all these things because I lived that for a while. I did all that. I blamed everyone. My first person was my father. That was the best one. And we don't get out over that, then we, how can we have the lives we want to have? And if we don't release all the old stuff that our ancestors brought into the world, we're not going to change the world. That's where it is now. So in 2012, I magically wrote all this information, which I did not know I was doing. None of us know what we're developing because it happens over time. That's how consciousness works within us and within the world. We don't change as humanity instantly. That's what occurs. And so it is a process. The way that you create your life is energetically through the thoughts you think they're going to either feel good to you or they're going to feel terrible. And those are energetic. The ones that feel good are higher vibrational thoughts of typically when you're liking yourself and loving yourself, that's great. That's putting that into the world as well. But if you're going to keep hating yourself and judging yourself for what you think you did wrong and all the mistakes you've made and all of that, you're putting negative energy in, into your life and into the world so nothing changes. And you, you can go and study all the sciences, especially quantum sciences now as we have them, because there's more development that has gone on that tells you how you create your life. There's no difference for any single person. And the one thing I keep saying, and people stop with this, they, they go, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. I can't believe that. But it is true. You are, there's no difference in any single human born in what they can do or accomplish other than the way they choose to think. That's all that it is. I can talk about this because I've had to go through all of those things. You know, I was born in 1950. It was a very different world. I wasn't even supposed to be seen as, as an equal person. We didn't think women should be equal as well. We're still struggling with that and haven't figured that one out. And we're still, that's what's going on right now. Should women really have the rights of men? See, that's centuries old that we're still figuring that one out. And should black people really have what they want to have? Should we make them equal? Should they even be able to vote? Let's go back there. Yeah, I can remember those times because I, I, I had to give a speech in 1964 because finally they signed the Civil Rights Act and, and I was given confirmation that I was okay. I'm talking about consciousness again. Everything is energy. And so these are things that we've carried on for generations. But what we're doing now is creating something new. And what I'm doing now is no understanding the value of every single person and causing them to live these incredible lives because see, then I know that you're making this difference in the world and putting the energy of light and love into the world and things will change. And I care so much about people and I care, I care more about the world. It drives me crazy when I see things going on that are like, you know, wars or killings and all of that. And I also know they never need to happen. Because if someone knows who they are, they never need to be homeless. They never need to kill someone else. They never need to steal. But none of that happens because that's that genetic code that everybody has, your DNA. And not everyone will develop it, though. I almost didn't, you see. <laughs> that's what happens. And the way that we develop it is by deciding to become our authentic self. But I'm going to read something to you as well. Um, everything is mindset. And we get it in different ways. What I did is I wrote it down every day. And then the odd thing that happened in this particular period, I was told by my guides, by my intuition, because you have it as well. We don't always listen to it. We don't always believe it. But um, I decided I had to do that because my life was such a mess that I needed to have other help other than all the other things that I had done for years. And then the crazy thing that happened, which is unbelievable, because we have this belief about time and we can't see these things. However, I was told I was given information in 2012 to help us all move through this because it's gonna change our minds. And then I started looking at some of the dates and they go, oh wow, this is really making sense now. I'm gonna read you one for July 20th because that's probably when this video will come out. Um, if for those of you who choose to listen, but I'll read this one to you um, because it will probably show up in our world because that's really what's been happening. Okay. Any tragedy, this is from July 20th of 2012, by the way, any tragedy, as you might call it, that you experience personally or observe in your world can cause you to live more. All events that occur have meaning and also carry a duality, if you will. 
When you first remember that all events are of a physical nature and occur for you in your world as merely a tool for you to utilize to further your spiritual development or expansion, you gain a different perspective. Since tragedies are all physical, they are also illusions or not real. As you move to heightened states of awareness, when you do experience or observe so-called tragedies, you will instantly look for your own value to be gained from them. The ultimate result is that you always choose love over fear. Now that was 2012 and it took me a long time to understand that just like it will you. Because that's how our brains work. That's how we develop. That's how the consciousness of our planet develops as well. It's all the same. We're all connected. There's no, we collectively create the world. And I put out several things which were written through my Wilhelm. You can find on any advice for today. And there was one that came through and it said, you are a teacher responsible for the condition of your world. I go, oh, really? Yeah, everyone is. How, how, if we don't think that that is true, then we've also said that we're not important. We don't have any value. If we don't understand that what we're doing in our lives is making a difference in the world, then we're also saying to ourselves at the same time, I have no value. And that is never true for any person. It doesn't matter what you've lived, what you've been through, because I've been through all of them, as I've said. It doesn't matter how much you've lost, how many times, you, none of that matters. It's are you willing to take the next step into a higher state of awareness and develop who you are? That's all that it is. And that's why I know that you can have it all. What I'm doing now is I'm having so much fun with my program because in December I first put it out like I said and I you know I, I put it out for this little bit of money because I just wanted to test it I have to test everything that's who I am and that was a mistake because you don't un, you don't get this when we keep ourselves in a poverty consciousness we can't attract the kind of abundance and wealth that we want to have to make a change in our lives and also make a change in the world because that's part of this change that's going on as well and so um, when I did that People were coming in and they made these huge changes, but then I kept it going for a little bit too long, which sometimes we do because we're just afraid of what we have, you see. And then now I'm getting kicked in the butt a little bit because I had someone who came in um, earlier and I don't have all the other stuff done because I said, oh, wait a minute, I've got to extend this more. It was only 31 days in the beginning. Now we're giving everyone a year access. And I gave this, and so giving someone that and then not following through, I had to look at that and I go, oh yeah, because I didn't think it was that great, but they're asking for more and I'm behind now. So what I'm doing is I'm only um, allowing people to come in. Um, you can come in now, but you also then have to meet with me, me scheduling a, uh, a talk because I need to under people to understand what this is because it's really draining for me for people to come into the program, only do a little bit of it, and then decide, wait a minute, this is too hard, it's too hard, I'm, I don't wanna look at myself, so I'm gonna quit now, please give me a refund. It's too much work for me, don't need that. And also, it's an energetic break. Everything about creating the lives, the world that we wanna have is about positive energy. So if you're gonna stay stuck in where you are and not believe that you can have it all, it's not gonna serve you to come into this work and it's not gonna serve our group because we're really having a great time. And, and what's happening now, which I said a long time ago, when we come together in community, we have more support. And so we're now working in our group calls and people are having such a great time making connections and, uh, and furthering their individual um, goals, what they're doing. The, my work is not about just sitting around thinking about things. It's about uncovering your blockages and uncovering what you're in the world to do, create that, and then do something that's gonna cause you to experience the kind of abundance and happiness and love that you should have. Every single person should have that. That's what this work does. And so, and this is why I've always said, I, I totally guarantee it, but I also say, please do not, don't do it unless you really wanna be happy and successful and heal everything. See, because I'm the living proof of that. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life, you know, coming up. And I don't even know what, that, I don't feel like I'm going to be 73 in November. That's, that's not even real because I feel like I'm about 30, even though I've gone through every physical ailment that any human can have. So I do know that you can have it all. And so I just wanted to say that because in the next few weeks, we're going to have a little more chaos in our world. And it's going to be, feel a little stressful, even if you don't watch the news or see any of that energetically, you have been feeling it. But 
understand that if you decide that you're going to love yourself and believe that you can have it all, you're going to make the greatest contribution to yourself and also to our world. I haven't done anything like this. It's increased the confidence that I had in myself. Everything is better. I mean, every every single aspect of my life. My income, the progress is just amazing. Like you can see changes from week to week. Introducing your last development program, Life Transformation for Success, the newest part of Roger Burnley's coaching series. In this three-month online program, you will learn the mindset tools you need to dissolve the shame of your past, discover the gifts within you that make you important to the world, and get the confidence to rise above anything that stands between you and the life that you want. Everything changed in my life, everything, every single thing. It's time for you to reprogram your mind for success and become self-actualized. If you're ready to transform your life too, learn more at yourlastdevelopmentprogram.com today.